Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So in my opinion, it's absolutely crazy how you can be the greatest literal basketball player of all time, but also later on in your life own an NBA team and be like the worst owner of all time, which is kind of what's going on with Michael Jordan right now, guys, and the Charlotte Hornets. And according to some sources out there, it sounds like the Hornets are emerging as the favorites to trade for Russell Westbrook, guys. And all I got to say is I have a bad, 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 bad feeling about this, man. Straight up bad feeling. And we're going to talk about it for today's video. Now, before we get going on today's video, if you guys don't mind dropping that like, especially if you're enjoying these NBA news and rumor coverage, guys, it really does help grow the channel. Um, can't believe we're at a quarter of a million subscribers, but you all know, man, one million subscribers is going to be the ultimate goal in the end of the day. And uh, yes, yeah, so if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, all that good stuff would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So, okay. If you're watching this video and a trade's already gone down, I do apologize. I don't think anything's going to happen today, but who really knows? You know, Woj be crazy up there sometimes. They have those trade, you know, Woj bombs and stuff like that. Um, but yes, so no, like, official trade has been announced. You know, the pieces have not been announced. As we can see right now, the Charlotte Hornets looking like this with their roster. Devontae Graham, who I like a lot, man. I feel like he was a diamond in the rough, a player they found. Obviously, he's on a very small contract. They got Scary Terry Rozier. You know, maybe a little overpaid, but I still think he had a pretty good season nonetheless. Cody Zeller, um, literal definition of basic center, if you ask me. You know, Miles Bridges, I still think could be something. P.J. Washington was a good rookie piece last season. Bismack Biambo, you know, Willie Herman Gomez. Malik Monk hasn't really panned out. Nicholas Batum, overpaid. Uh, we, all know who, we all know who the Hornets are. Like, you know, they're a basketball team in the NBA, I think is the best way to put it right now, right, man? But they also have the third pick in the draft. But yes, like I was saying, they are interested in getting Russell Westbrook on their team. So uh, I think the first thing that kind of ticks me off the most about this is that, for one, Russell's 32, right? Athletic-based point guard, starting to get to that point in life where you lose athleticism. Unfortunately for me, it was the age of 11. But, you know, from this standpoint, it's like, what sense would it be that Michael Jordan was not willing to pay Kemba Walker money two years younger, maybe one year old with his birthday is exactly... But he wants to pay Russell Westbrook. You know what I'm saying, man? Like, Kemba was so loyal to that franchise, but you're willing to, you know, give that contract to Russell Westbrook going forward. Now, I do know that Russell is part of the Jordan brain and everything. Um, and, you know, from, from the grand scheme of things from an NBA career, Russell Westbrook's the better player, right? But now we got to look at this point. Like, what are things like right now? Well, I do think Russell Westbrook, you know, given the right circumstance, could still average a near triple-double. I don't see any reason. Like, he was able to put up eight rebounds, seven assists on a team with James Harden, right? The guy is still a baller, right, man? But it's like, okay, what exactly does he do for your franchise going forward i mean in the eastern conference with russell westbrook on the charlotte hornets i'm thinking you're probably looking at maybe fifth seed at best depending depending on the other players around him right he's not exactly a guy that i don't i think anymore that other like superstars or all-stars want to play with um i just don't really think we say that anymore i much rather see him on a team like the clippers as like a second or third option although we probably will not see that now but no man so okay all of a sudden the hornets arise as the favorites What's the trade going to be? You guys let me know in the comment section below. What would it take for the Charlotte Hornets to get Russell Westbrook in one of their jerseys next NBA season? I'm going to give you guys two trade scenarios. One was given to me by uh, a follower on my Twitter account at ChrisFlakes2K. Um, his name was Thick Diglett, which I believe is a Pokemon. That was his name. And the trade that he said would work, this is not the trade I think will go down. If this trade was offered up, sure, why not? If you're the Charlotte Hornets, you can do it. It, uh, he thinks he says I think Zeller Monk where are we at where are we at okay he said Zeller Monk Batum and Rozier gets it done and they get their center with the third pick he said the final lineup would be Westbrook Graham Bridges Washington and Wiseman or Kongu right I'm sure Charlotte Hornet fans I'm sure Rocket fans probably are not too happy about that sounding trade right there but I did read another report I believe it was from Woj saying that uh right now Russell Westbrook has like no trade value him it says that him and Oladipo have very small trade value in the market right now so maybe it's a trade as simple as that we do know that you know star caliber players can get traded for very little look at Drummond last season despite what you think about him he was still one of the better centers in the NBA the Pistons got Brandon Knight okay so that's his trade not bad. I would be willing to do that, you know, if it was offered to me. What I think, what I honestly, oh, oh my, it's going to happen, man. I have such a bad feeling about this, Hornet fans. I'm sorry to say, Russell Westbrook will be fun, but I have a feeling that the man Michael Jordan would trade their number three pick in the draft. Tomorrow is draft night. I have a feeling some big votes thing is going to happen, and Russell, Russell Westbrook's going to get traded before draft night to the Houston Rockets. And that's going to kind of be the way for the Rockets to try to keep James Harden happy by getting them like a top pick in the draft. Maybe use it as a trade piece later on. 
who really knows man i have such a bad feeling about it that trey would be that and probably since they're trading a point guard away probably terry rosier in exchange in exchange for the man russell westbrook i would not do this i'm, I'm not saying this is my trade this is my michael jordan-esque that I would not be surprised if he did that type of thing based off his past moves. Bitch-ass contract, Nicholas Batum, Bismack, Miambo type of move out there, man. That, that's what I think it would be in this circumstance, right? So we are going to do this trade right here because I got a bad feeling about it. Like I said, if you're watching this video and this trade did not happen, if it was something else, obviously I'll do a rebuild about it and everything, man. This is just, you know what, more like a rumor talk video, my own humble opinion, right, man? Okay, okay, okay. So at that point, we're looking at that for the starting five. In my opinion, that's not a bad team. Like, this is actually, like, the type of team you would probably want around want Russell Westbrook at this point. This career basically wants to be. Um, I'm not sure. You know, Cody Zeller would be a decent pick-and-roll player with him, I guess. He would be, might be similar to, like, the type of numbers, like, Steven Adams puts up for the, uh, you know, for the uh, OKC Thunder, like, what they did there. I mean, sure, he'll be fine. I like Devontae Graham playing off of Russell. Defense, not great, obviously, but obviously he can score the basketball. Miles Bridges, I think with his athleticism running in the court with Russell Westbrook could be nice. And the P.J. Washington, you know, being a stretch four out there, will have a lot of open opportunities. Bench unit, you still got some things out there, but ultimately speaking, you would need to probably look to improve there if possible. But what you do here is you trade away your future. Like that, like, and I said on my Twitter account, I said, wouldn't it be ironic if Michael Jordan as an owner traded away the number three overall pick and that number three overall pick ended up someday becoming the GOAT of the NBA because obviously Michael Jordan was, you know, slept on in the draft and did not go till number three in the draft, right? So I just think it would be ironically funny, right? And then you look over on the Houston Rockets side of things. I mean, you get Terry Rozier, who I think, I think Scary Terry, honestly, um, this is the perfect point guard alongside James Harden. Like, he, he would just work. Like, this right here, what he does, how he scores the basketball, the way he can shoot, it would just work, right, man? I like that a lot. So that would be a nice move. But obviously, they also get that third pick in the draft. And uh, at that point, you know, the draft is tomorrow, by the way, at the making of this video. So who knows what that third pick is going to be. Uh, let's go to the draft, the prospect sky real quick here. So number three. Okay, so so number one, I have the uh, T-Wolves probably taking Anthony Edwards. Uh, number two, the Warriors. Bro, it, it, it could be crazy. There is a chance that the Rockets, if they got that third pick, could get LaMelo Ball. Then you're looking at teaming up with LaMelo with James Harden, which... Loki makes me kind of want to throw up in my mouth a little bit. If I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I don't think they would go for a big guy. I mean, maybe a Kongu if they want to go more with like a, a smaller type of small ball center because he is six nine, which is you know, I guess these days not short for a center, but back in the day it was. But the way he runs, the way he's athletic and stuff, it could work out with James Harden on the Rockets, right? Like I feel like that's got like some uh, Steve Nash and Mari Stoudemire feel to it. You know what I'm saying, man? With him and James Harden, so that's just my opinion on that. So you can see something like that. Um, now, obviously, this being a re or this being just a what if video and 2k being broken right now i actually cannot draft a player right now because it will actually crash the game i cannot draft from a player in this uh, type of scenario so we can't do that unfortunately but no this is more so a video about the charlotte hornets so let's go ahead and uh simulate this season man you know see how russell westbrook let's gonna play because this man said he wants to be the floor general again he wants to take over man he's ready to go and we're gonna let him go man we're gonna let him go we're gonna let him go you know 42 minutes a game Bridges playing a lot more. PJ Washington. Yo, real quick here, just because it will kind of like anger me if uh, he doesn't shoot threes. Uh, I got to make sure they fixed the shot tendency for PJ Washington. It was zero last year, man, which means he doesn't. He did not shoot threes in the game. Okay, it's up to a, a four. I mean, that's still not good. He still shoots a lot of threes. So yeah, we want this guy, you know, balling out from three, right? You know, spotting up, doing all that good stuff out there. So that's good to go. Let's simulate the season, man. So okay, that, that this is what I think they're gonna do. Or the, this, or what? What should they do? What? What should they do given the circumstances? I think the Charlotte Hornets they need to go out there and they probably just need to uh, draft the best player available at the number three spot. I think a Kongwu is a good move. Um, like I said, I like Devontae Graham. I like Terry Rozier. Uh, Miles Bridges can still be something. I love PJ Washington. I, I feel like if you go into next NBA season with the front court, a uh, PJ Washington, and I would personally take a Kongwu. Uh, I'm not saying James Wiseman is a bad player. I just think Akangu is what you want in today's NBA, and I feel like he'd be a good player for that Charlotte Hornets team, um, all things considered. You know, if you do that, then you're good to go. I mean, I'm not saying the Hornets are like the biggest free agent destination. I can't remember the last time a big player actually signed over there. I'm kind of surprised, actually, they were never able to really get anybody big time to play with Kemba Walker. Like, I don't know why you would not want to play with Kemba, right? But that's kind of how it is, right, man? So, um, it's... Ugh. 
as a small market, a, a smaller market team, I, I I do get it from a fan standpoint. I, I can see why Charlotte Hornet fans would be like, hey, yeah, we'll take Russell Westbrook because we don't really get big name free agents over here. He is an all star, you know, name out there. We know he's a former MVP. Sure, let, let's take a chance on it. As a Piston fan, I almost feel the same way about Russell. Like I posted on Twitter the other day saying like, I don't speak for all Piston fans. I would not mind Russell Westbrook on the team. I actually said that just because like, I know we're not going to sign anybody big. Nobody's going to come play in Detroit. So it's like, I just want to like watch fun basketball again. So, um, but obviously, you know, the goal is to rebuild and get draft picks and everything like that. And, uh, I, I guess that's my biggest issue with the team is that Russell Westbrook does not win the Charlotte Hornets a championship that third pick in the draft who knows who knows what it could be and like i was saying if we go um back based off the trade we were talking about earlier with zeller monk batum and rosier and you can still get russell westbrook and still keep your third pick in the draft you know i'm not totally against that i'm really not totally against that man like to me that would just be kind of interesting but for their record 38 and 43 for the houston rockets 39 and 42 without russell westbrook keep in mind they have a draft pick so we were not able to do that but yeah simulate through date right here and finish the end of the season i'm gonna guess both these teams did not make the playoffs in the simulation but let's check out all nba first all nba second russell westbrook making that and all nba third looking like that uh any more hornet players on here that we see russell yeah all just all nba second team which is fine man so hornets not in the playoffs rockets not in the playoffs they will definitely be a playoff team if you have james harden you're gonna make the playoffs right same cannot always be said about russell westbrook let's go to the player stats on the season and uh let's just see you know how this hornets team did so russell did get his 29 points he got his nine rebounds eight assists per game near triple double numbers actually pretty damn uh good efficiency um you know actually looking like his career high in efficiency still you know um can't really shoot threes but thinks he's steph curry 27 percent from three Devonte graham good decent numbers i like his efficiency at 45 percent. i think he was in the 30s last season yeah 30 uh yeah 38 percent percentage last season so he became more efficient playing off of russell which is cool miles bridges fine still has more room to improve if you ask me a lot more room pj washington i think could be probably a 16 point per game score next season zeller like i said pretty basic malik monk benching it you know decent enough but that's what you would expect. Russell puts up numbers. Other guys do things. Playoffs don't happen. If they do get playoffs, it's going to be like the 7th or 8th seed at best. So, yeah, I guess we'll simulate these playoffs. See who wins it all. Probably the Lakers. Lakers seem to always win in these videos, man. But, let's say, I just, I, I, I saw, I believe it was Woj or Shams or somebody like that talking about how uh, they are the favorites. And like I said, man, this is the Russell Westbrook trade that nobody wants to see. Finals MVP. I think it was LeBron. I don't really know. The Lakers always win kind of annoying but it is what it is